be talking Willem Dafoe joining the cast of Always Nosferatu good. from uh, the Robert Eggers. Almost forgot how to say his name, even though it's right there. Uh, good job. But uh, yeah, no, this is kind of a given at this point. Um, ever since The Lighthouse, uh, him and Robert Eggers have been tight and close. And, uh, you know, they just definitely enjoy each other's work. I think that uh, Eggers definitely understands where, uh, you know, Willem Dafoe is in his career and the kind of roles he's interested in playing. Because even in The Northman, which you haven't seen yet still. No. All right. It's okay. Uh, he has a role. It's not a massive role, but it's a strange role. So it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I think that uh, he's definitely going to be, um, you know, a staple for Eggers as time goes on, if he hasn't already established himself there. Yeah, I, I remember listening to uh, the story of, you know, how the how the relationship came to form, I think, uh, during the lighthouse. And uh, they both are pretty infatuated with each other. And I think they work well with each other. So, you know, where it's like... Um, Willem Dafoe is just such a unique actor. It's like you, you have to find, um, you know, if, if you have a director that cannot bottle up his essence in portraying on screen, I think I think you have a problem being a director because um, he's just a, a, a tremendous actor and he brings so much to these roles. And Robert Eggers, I mean, looking at his filmography, uh, Lighthouse is just <laughs> an exceptional film. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no other way around it. Um so it's like knowing that these two are going to be back together and already looking at the cast for Nosferatu. I think we brought up Nosferatu um, uh, a while ago on Sunday Scaries when it was first announced. Um, and it was just kind of, you know, in its infancy. And I think they just had, um, well, Bill Skarsgård and, um, oh, uh, Johnny Depp. Nicholas Scott. Holt and Lily Rose Depp were all cast Lily at Rose the Depp. same time. Um, so it's like adding Willem Dafoe here. I mean, man, you're adding a juggernaut to this cast. And, you know, <laughs> we already brought up Brandon Cronenberg and how he can make use of if his, uh, casting Robert Eggers, another guy. Um, I love his period pieces. Um, I love that he makes use of everyone in the cast. He really gets those performances. This is going to be no different. Um, he's clearly the guy to bring those fraud to into whether it's going to be a, a you know a modern version of it or he's just going to do another period piece whatever this guy is going to do i'm absolutely excited for it so i mean like you could probably cast almost anyone in this film and i'm going to be like robert eggers is going to know exactly what to do with this actor so you know it's almost like null and void for me yeah and i mean i'm definitely excited for this movie um not only is nosferatu just an in interest in like my uh love of older horror cinema yeah but it's one of those things where it's like having robert eggers come onto this and it being such a passion project that has been so publicized for so long that if you follow him at all you've known that this is something he's been trying to get made for years that uh, i am so excited for this i i'm i love seeing people's uh dream movies get realized uh, and things like that and the fact that this is and now this cast is shaping up like this it's like oh my goodness I mean, really, the only thing they could do is really get uh, Alexander Skarsgård in here at some point or maybe oh, Robert Pattinson in like cameo roles. And uh, yeah, then you're talking almost. And I mean, obviously, I can't forget Anya Taylor-Joy, his true muse. Um, I mean, he just works so well with all these actors. He's got himself a nice little crew that uh, love to work with him. Yeah, I mean, it's at this point you can do no wrong, I think. Um, and I, I also love the, the aesthetic of, you know, Nosferatu. We always see Nosferatu in a lot of clips and things like that, but I think a lot of people it's got lost upon where it's like a lot of people haven't went back and actually watched the film itself. Um, so I'm glad that it's, it's being brought back into, you know, uh, the more modern realm where people are going to actually go see this film and kind of, uh, rekindle that love because Nosferatu is one of those staples, I think, in horror that a lot of people have forgotten. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. Because, and you know, I was just excited. I, you know, I'm going to gloat and brag a little bit here. I just got my uh, Dracula NECA to go on with Universal Monsters. I put it up on uh, Friday, a picture on our Instagram. Um, so follow us on Instagram. But uh, yeah, no. And the fact that they are releasing a Nosferatu figure has me so excited, too. I just love that the character is kind of coming into the pop culture zeitgeist again of people yeah. actually recognizing him and knowing him and he's not just the weird 
cutaway gag in SpongeBob for people my age. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, a, a great character design for the for the time mm -hmm. as well. Um, so I'm um again, I'm intrigued to see Robert Eggers's vision here. I think everything's going to be truly unique. Um, bringing in in that kind of connective tissue from the original film, but also making that unique spin that he always does with all these films. I'm curious to see if this will be black and white or this will be a more modern take and he's going to do um, color here. Uh, either way, I'm going to be excited for it. I just can't wait to see it. 